Okay, uh, thank you for coming into part three. The gentleman has now totaled out his second vehicle. The van's done. He uh, breaks into these people's home and they're having dinner. He scares them and he begs them for help. They're, they're like, no, get out of here. I, I believe the homeowner got a kitchen knife and was chasing the guy. Out of the house he goes. He's got the keys. He steals their work truck. So off he goes in the work truck and he gets on the freeway and high speed on the freeway. So we now have, uh, you know, six or seven helicopters chasing this guy. So we separate. So I happened to be on the north side last night. I had a couple with me and we had a couple other helicopters over on the south side of the freeway and then law enforcement's below us. But I'm constantly, I'm flying, I'm keeping the pursuit out my window, so I'm watching it and I'm talking to the other aircraft and I'm scanning for them. I wanna know where they're at because if I don't see them, you know, they could be under me, on top of me, whatever. You've gotta know where they're at. Uh, so the guy gets off the freeway, now he's southbound through Kalima Pass, heading down towards Fullerton. So what we did last night is we all took turns, but uh, at that point, I was the key point of contact. So I would call Fullerton Tower, and I said, Fullerton Tower, this is Helicopter TV4. We are seven aircraft, the flight of seven, on a pursuit southbound Kalima Pass. And so all seven of us got cleared in. So the tower knows who we are, how many are we, and where we're going. So <clears throat> the pursuit ends up terminating at a gas station. He crashes into a pump. The police have to fire at them. It is just a disaster. But when we have all those aircraft and we're in that close proximity, talking with each other really is key. So I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about that, share it. It was a nutty night, but uh, it was entertaining for you guys. So thank you for sharing a moment with Aliana and I. Have a good night.